Welcome to the Snow Valley Education Program for skiers and snowboarders. We're so happy to have you join us. Let me tell you what's going to happen when you arrive. Your bus will pull up. I have a greeter that will get on and give you the rundown for the day. So we go over our expectations and what you can expect to have a great day. Welcome to Snow Valley. Are we going to, everyone's excited for a fun day? Yep. Yeah. All right. So as you head into rentals, you'll first get your boots. I put my boots on, put my walking shoes up in the same slot that my ski boots or snowboard boots came out of, and from there I'll get in line for a helmet. And then you will move your way through to either claim your snowboard for the day or your ski rentals for the day. Poles will be handed out at the very end. As they exit the rental shop doors, we will have people out there. They're called runners and they will assign them to where they're going. And what I mean by that is that if they have never ever skied or snowboarded, we will send them over to the Adventure Learning Center. You skied before? How many times? If they have skied or snowboarded several times, then we encourage them to go up to our stripe test. At the stripe test, they'll receive a green stripe or a blue stripe. Stripe color indicates what hills they can ski. So green would only be green runs and blue would only be blue runs. Those lessons for the kids that get their stripes in the morning will be at 1230 back at the snow school flags. But on to the adventure center. So never ever skiers and ones that have only skied two, three times same as boarders, we'll head over to our Adventure Learning Center where there are five stations within the center. The sixth station is how to ride the chairlift and it's accompanied with a, a snow school instructor and off they go for their first run down the mountain which is station seven. So let's go over what the stations actually are. Station one is mobility, how to move on the skis, how to put the skis on and off, how to work your way through because skis and boards are different. It's not like standing in your running shoes. You've got a lot of equipment under your feet that you have to be able to move around. So we teach the mobility, being able to stand up, finding their new balance on these moving devices. As they progress from station one, they'll go to station two and it's their first ride up a carpet lift, which we call snowflake. At station two, we're gonna teach them how to snow plow. And that's just brushing the heels out to form a V shape with their skis. It's the way we slow down. It's an also way that we'll introduce turning. So station two, we're looking for the ability to stand nice and tall, centered on the skis, brush the heels out and come to a stop. Off to station three, which will be on the next carpet, which is Wonderland, a little bit longer than Snowflake, so it's progressive through this adventure center. And at station three, we will take that snow plow and now teach them how to turn with it, steering both feet in the direction that they want to go, maintaining the snow plow. Some students may progress quickly as they're hockey players or soccer players or figure skaters. So we look into that and we move them through at their own pace. And then when you get the three on your tag, you move over to station four. Again, up the same lift, Wonderland, and off to the left this time. Little bit steeper, so we're challenging your ability to turn and stop. Station five is where we're gonna look at you, make sure we assess you and that you're ready to go out onto the big mountain because it is a big jump from the Adventure Learning Center onto our green runs. We are looking at that you can steer and turn and control your speed and have a solid stop at the bottom. After you've completed station five, station six, you'll learn how to ride the chairlift. And when we're riding the chairlift, it's super important to listen. It is a big moving machine. You're gonna be up in the air, going to the top of the mountain. And what we want you to do is make sure that you're quiet can hear the instructions from the instructor and that you follow them. That instructor will meet you at the top of the hill and guide you down station seven. Now we're up on the mountain, we're assessing you that if you can get a green stripe, and that's our goal, to get you out, let you go free on the green runs, and station seven, the completion of it, you will have a green stripe if your ability shows that you can handle being on the mountain. 
I'm making my way up the stripe test as I have skied or snowboarded a few times this season already. So I want to come over and try to get my green stripe. To get my green stripe, I need to hike up this hill, wait for it to be my turn, and I'm going to be in a good solid snow plow as I descend the hill. I'm able to turn left and right in this snow plow. I'm comfortable, I'm standing, I feel great. Now, I've skied even more and I want to try for my blue stripe. My blue stripe, I'm going to need to be parallel and be able to turn parallel all the way to the bottom where I'll do a hockey stop in front of the instructor. So the difference is if you're trying for the stripe test when your school arrives, you need to be a skier. You need to have skied or snowboarded a few times this season already. If I'm snow plow and I can stop solid, I may get a green stripe. Green stripes, I can then ski only green runs. If I'm able to stop in a hockey stop, I was parallel, I have lots of skill, or I'm heel and toe edge from snowboarding, you'll receive a blue stripe. Either way, if you try the stripe test in the morning and you're successful getting a green or a blue stripe, your lesson will be 12.30 in the afternoon to come on back and advance your skills. We hope you have a great day here with us at Snow Valley. We're here to make sure your day is fun. So remember, stay within your ability, stay on the groomed trails, and always ride the chairlift with the bar down. Have a great day.